Hi, welcome back to capexforextrading.com. In this video, we're going to look at a few things that you need to do in order to set up your trading software. Now, what I've got in front of me here is a trading platform. Uh, but one thing you need to bear in mind is that different brokers offer different platforms. So, some may have their own software, some may have MT4 or MT5, and some may even have cloned versions of MT4 or MT5 that they sell as their own. But realistically, no matter who the broker is or what the software is, even though they look a little bit different, they all do exactly the same thing. So what we're going to do, we're just going to focus on a few things you need to do in terms of setup and then in the following videos we're going to discuss more specific features that you need to bear in mind. So when you first firstly download the trading software, you may see something like this. Um, now what I've got in front of me here is just a range of charts and colors and indicators that I haven't even selected. So what we need to do first of all is to make sure that we're displaying the right currency pairs. So on the left hand side here I've got all the currency pairs that are available to me. So by simply dragging the currency pair from the left to the right of the chart I can display any currency pair I want in any chart that I wish. Okay. Um, so that's the first thing you want to do. The second thing that you want to do is to make sure that the time is right at the bottom. Okay. So this is um, more important if you're trading the news or even trying to stay away from the news so that you know specifically when um, the next news announcement is coming up in terms of your chart itself. The, the third thing you need to do is set the right color scheme for your chart. Okay, So I'm just going to kind of zoom into one chart here. So first of all, uh, just by right clicking or going to properties, uh, the way that I'd like to trade is to have the black on white. Okay, so I've got a preview here in this screen of what that will look like. Okay, um, but please bear in mind, guys, I'm using MT4 or MT5 here, so this is um, the, the options I'm going to go through here, are obviously based on that. But the same options will apply no matter which trading software you have. It just it, look, it might look a little bit different. So to continue, I want to get rid of the grid as well. So I want to choose none there. Um, the up candles. Um, are in white, the down session candles are in black and I want to get rid of volumes because we're not trading volumes in Forex. Then I press OK and now I've got a much clearer chart. I don't trade bar charts so I'm just going to click this to trade candlesticks and then zoom in a little bit to make it easier for me. Uh, then I'm going to go down to the indicator window. We're not discussing indicators yet, we're going to do this in, a, in other videos but I just want to get rid of that one uh, by right clicking it I think yeah delete indicator and there we go um, then uh, I'm just going to minimize this chart okay so this is what I want all of my charts to look like so I'm going to do this um, in every single chart I'm not going to do it now but I'm going to do this in every single chart okay so let's say that we want to display not six but we want to display eight charts okay so in terms of MT4, MT5 um, I can do the same thing I can take a currency pair so, pair, so I've got the Euro Swiss, uh, Swiss, Swiss franc there drag it along into the empty space and then open it up okay don't worry about the width and the height for now just put it somewhere where you'd like it to be okay and then I want the Aussie dollar CAD underneath there okay so I'm just going to move that across here um, so in terms of the way this looks it's quite messy so the next thing I need to do is click onto window and tile these vertically and just by clicking that I've got a perfect order uh, a perfect height and a perfect width of all the charts that I wish to use so now the setup is finished um, I can pick and choose and drag different currency pairs into different charts okay so you can change these as often as you wish and even if you are in big screen mode you can change which currency pair you're looking at by just clicking any of the tabs down here okay but we're going to like I say we just want to focus on the setup first we're going to look at specific features in the next video